Moho is arguably one of the best and easy to learn to the animation rigging software out there. But definitely it's going to have some downsides, like having to create multiple rigs when trying to make complex characters. And so I've tried to create an almighty arm rig to solve most of these issues and hopefully at the end of this video we should be able to create an arm rig to give us a lot of animation poses rather than having to create multiple rigs to simulate simple poses. So right here on my screen we have two different arm rigs. So we're going to take a look at the two different arm rigs we have on my screen. Now starting off we're going to start with the basic arm rig we have on the left part of my screen. For the basic arm rig you can see we have an IK chain. This is a very very simple um, arm rig to set up. It's made of about four bones. Now the problem of this rig is the inability of this rig to be able to give us a good foreshortening effect so if for some reason we want the arm to be in this position you might experience some issues of the elbow sticking out over here as well as the shoulder and the wrist sticking out over here as well now another problem of the basic arm rig is the fact that this rig does not allow us to change the layer order of our arms so that's another problem we might face from the basic arm rig. Now another issue of the basic arm rig is that this rig might look rigid at times. So let's say we bend the arm like this. So you can see the arm looks a bit too rigid and not everyone finds this appealing. So we try to solve this problem in the almighty arm rig. So let's take a look at the almighty arm rig on the right part of my screen. And I'm just going to delete this from the timeline. Now over here the almighty arm rig this is a more complex um rig so the first thing we notice from this rig is that we have an ik chain like we have on the basic arm rig now also this rig allows us to bend the midpoint of our arms like so so you could also bend the top parts of the upper arm as well now another feature of this rig is that this rig allows us to adjust the length of our lines over here and we can also place this, uh, put this back in place with um, a Moho script. So I'm just going to show you that. Now, another feature of this rig is the ability to interchange the layers on the layer panel. So if for some reason we want to make the lower arm below the upper arm, we could just come over here and select the lower arm and then take it below the upper arm. I can see how this just changes very very easily without having any problem whereas if we try to do that on the basic arm rig we're going to experience a ton of problems so all of this let's get started on the almighty arm rig so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do not subscribe to the channel and let's get started so right here on my screen we have the arm already set up so we're going to take a look at how the arm is being set up over here at the layers panel now over here at the layers panel, the hand is made up of about 5 layers and we're going to take a look at all the layers from the top to the bottom. Now over here at the top we have the hand switch which comprises of um, different hands. So you could just select the one you want for your arm. Now the next we have the upper arm. Now for the upper arm, it's made up of two shapes. So at the bottom we have a rectangle with both of its sides hidden and we have a circle at the top. Now, for our lower arm, we just have a rectangle for that with both of its sides hidden at the top and at the bottom. Now, for our wrist and our elbow, we just have circles for that. This is a circle for the wrist and a circle for the elbow as well. Okay? So, when you have your arm set up like this um, and your layers set up in this pattern as well, we could then select all our layers and then put this into a group. Now we're going to rename this group to be called arm bone. Okay. And then I'm going to select the group and I'm going to convert this into a bone. Now we're going to add in bones into the scene. Now in order to add bones into the scene, I'm going to be using some Moho script in order to make this tutorial a lot more easier. So if you don't have this script, you could head over to the Moho website and download them for free over there. Now the name of the tool I'm going to be using is the bones coordinates tool. And to use this tool, I'm going to come over here to the upper arm layer. I'm going to select this point over here. I'm going to get their position, select this as well, get their position, and I'm going to draw a bone across. I'm going to do the same for the lower arm. I'm going to select this and this as well, and I'm going to draw a bone across. Now, the next thing we want to do is to go back to our arm bone layer, and I'm going to select our lower arm bone, hit A, and I'm going to drag out a bone for the hand. Okay, so 
we're going to select the lower arm bone, hit P, and we're going to parent this to the upper arm bone. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add a bone for our shoulders. Now, before we add the bones for our shoulder, we're going to rename the bones we have into the scene. Now, I'm going to be using another Moho script to rename my bones very easily. So, I'm going to select this and I'm going to rename this to the upper arm. I'm going to select this. I'm going to rename this to the lower arm. And I'm going to rename this to hand. Now, I'm going to hit A. And you have to make sure you have no bone selected. And I'm going to drag out a bone to about this point for our shoulders. We're going to come over here and we're going to rename this to shoulder. And now I'm going to select the upper arm bone, hit P, and I'm going to parent this to the shoulder bone. Now, once we select our shoulder bone, head over to the bone constraints and enable ignore by IK. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to add in some middle bones for our upper arm and our lower arm bones. Now, for this, we want to make sure we have no bones selected because we're going to parent them after we create these bones. So I'm going to select my bones coordinates tool as usual and I'm going to select our upper arm layer and I'm going to get these positions over here. Now you want to make sure you have some points at the middle of your upper arm layer for this. So I'm going to get those points as well and I'm going to draw a bone across. Do the same for the lower part, draw a bone across as well. And we're going to do the same for the lower arm bone over here. Okay, so now we have these bones added into the scene. I'm going to go back to the arm bone layer, hit B. I'm going to select the newly added bones. Now with the color bone script, I'm going to change the colors of the bones we just added into the scene. And I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to rename this to the upper arm middle. Select the second one and I'm going to rename this to the upper arm middle two. I'm going to select this and I'm going to rename this to the lower arm middle and this to the lower arm middle two bone. If you have renamed all your bones and for some reason you can't see your bones clearly or they're difficult to select, you could head over to where we have edit, come to preferences and where we have layers and objects, you could change the bone display width from narrow to wide. Okay. I'm going to parent the lower arm middle bones i'm going to hit p and i'm going to parent this to the lower arm bone now for the upper arm bones we're not going to parent them directly to the upper arm so what we're going to do is we're going to add in a control bone for that so i'm going to select the shoulder hit a and drag out a bone for to be our control bone now this bone i'm going to rename this to the upper arm control and i'm going to change this to color blue so we're going to make sure we have our upper arm control bone selected. Come to where we have um, our control bones and I'm going to change the angle to be controlled by the upper arm and the scale to be controlled by the upper arm as well. So we're going to select our two middle bones and I'm going to hit P and I'm going to parent them to our upper arm control bone. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is to add in small bones into the scene now these small bones are going to be um binded to a uh, circle at the top and the middle and for the rest over here so i'm going to select the first the upper arm middle bone i'm going to hit a and i'm going to drag out a bone over here i'm going to select the upper arm middle to hit a and i'm going to drag out a bone to about this point do the same here as well and do the same for the last part over here now we're going to select the newly added bones and we're going to change that into color purple and we're going to rename them. I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to rename this to the upper arm small. Select this and rename this to the upper arm small two. Select this and rename this to the lower arm small and this is going to be the lower arm small two bone. Now, the next thing we want to do is to add in some target bones into the scene. Now, these target bones are what we're going to use to be able to bend the midpoint of our upper arm and our lower arm. So, I'm going to select the upper arm and I'm going to drag out a bone to about this point. I'm going to select the lower arm, hit A and drag out a bone to about this point as well. Now, since these are target bones, we're going to rename them. So, this is going to be the upper arm 
target and this is going to be the lower arm target now i'm going to select the two middle bones of the upper arm hit p hold down control and i'm going to make them target the upper arm target bone i'm going to do the same for the lower arm select the two lower arm middle bones hit p hold down control and select the lower arm target bone over here now we have all of this set up we're going to add in four more bones for the arm now i'm going to go to the upper arm i'm going to select the bones coordinates tool select this point get this position do the same for the other parts and then i'm going to draw some bones over there now you want to make sure you're on the arm bone layer and then select the two bones we just created i'm going to hit t and i'm going to increase their length over here i'm going to select each of those bones individually hold down shift and i'm going to rotate them at a 45 degree angle upwards i'm going to do the same for the lower arm as well now for the lower arm i'm going to select the two bones and then i'm going to hit t and i'm going to increase their length over here then these ones we want to hold down shift and rotate them at a 45 degree angle downwards now for these ones for the lower arm we're going to be parenting this to the lower arm small over here and then we're going to select these two and we're going to be parenting them to the upper arm small two bone okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to be binding our layers and our points to their corresponding bones so we're going to start with the hand layer over here and i'm going to come over here and just select the layer bind tool and i'm going to bind that like this now the next one we're going to do is we're going to come over here to where we have the upper arm and for the upper arm we're going to select the upper arm small hit i and i'm going to bind all of these points to that i'm going to come over here select this hit i and i'm going to bind these points to that i'm going to come over here select this hit i and i'm going to bind only the points at the middle to that then i'm going to select this hit i bind this point to that select this hit i bind this point to that as well now we're going to go to the lower arm and for the lower arm i'm going to select this hit i and i'm going to bind this to that and i'm going to come over here select this hit i and then bind that to that select this and then bind this to that as well then we're going to select this hit i bind this to that and for the last part we're going to select the lower arm small two bone hit i and then bind all of these points to that as well now for our wrist we're going to bind all the points of our wrist to our lower arm small two bone we're going to bind our elbow to the lower arm small bone over here now let's test how our rig is so i'm just going to select this and i'm going to rotate this sorry let's make sure we're on the bone layer and now you can see the arm rotates fine but there's a problem because we don't have an ik chain over here so now to correct that we're going to go back to frame zero hit ctrl a hit s i'm going to bring down the strength of all the bones in the scene i'm going to select our two target bones come over here to the bone constraints and i'm going to select the ignore by ik over here now let's test how this um, rig is right now so you can see from our lower arm we could have an ik chain from there okay now let's test how the um, bending of the midpoint of our arm is so i'm just going to bend that and i can see there's a problem at the wrist over there so in order to correct the problem at the wrist we're going to go back to frame zero and we're going to select our small bones now the small bones are going to be controlled by their corresponding um, parents so i'm going to select the upper arm small and it's going to be controlled that is the angle is going to be controlled by the upper arm middle i'm going to select this and it's going to be controlled by the upper arm middle two bone i'm going to select this one and it's going to be controlled by the lower arm middle and this is going to be controlled by the lower arm middle two bone okay so now let's test how this um arm is right now so i'm going to rotate this to about this point and test out the midpoints so now you can see the arm bends very nicely over here 
So basically, this is how you create an almighty arm rig. And if you watch this tutorial to about this point, please do all subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.